you know, so I can insert us being whatever. Okay, I need to. Need the butt pillow again? No. That didn't help. You can adjust. Have you been adjusting? Oh, haven't I been adjusting? Yes, yes. But like the seat part too? Yes. Oh. Okay. What are you idiot? Just making sure. to be a kosher wash, well then it for sure has to be a certain temperature and time. But, but so yeah. So they don't like fill up the tank with hot like sudsy water till it bubbles out the top and then like drain it, you know, and then the other guy goes in there. It goes and drives on a really bumpy road so it agitates. Yeah! That's probably not. We'll have to ask on that. Whoa, Wisconsin! Again, a cleaner vehicle than us. It's embarrassing. My van. I can't even take pictures out the window. Look at this. <laughs> it's so dirty. And it's covered with Minnesota salt. But we haven't, I haven't seen a car wash. Why it, do they need a car wash down here? Well, you know. There, can you see better? Yeah. A little bit. A little bit. Could be footprints on the inside, though, too. Cause oh, listen, why is it today that you're just sassy? <laughs> yes, you know, I've been getting the good shots in on you, and now you're getting them on me. Because I have my feet up there too, that first thing. Yeah. Oh, well, that's true. This is really good coffee, by the way, if anyone wants. Yeah, What's well, it called again? Carocchio? It's the new thing at Starbucks. We basically use the shell of the espresso bean. And it's supposed to be like a cherry flavor. It's very mild and good. I loved yeah, it. It's pretty good. Where did you put your espresso beans, by the way? In my first wife. Okay. Well, just remember anything chocolate, you don't want to uh, leave. Yeah, because you know what? My pomegranate one. Right. Too. We got those two. We should, and I bought some at Dollar Tree, so we should put those. Yeah. Can you guys believe we only hit one Dollar Tree so far? Oh, I thought it was more impressive. Only one Starbucks so far. Oh, yeah. And we were forced to get Starbucks because 
everywhere I have been drinking coffee on the way here and um, because I'm a coffee hound and Kim noticed the same thing I said it tastes really good like the first five minutes and then it goes bad it tastes like burnt we were having yeah. supper last night and I'm like yeah I'll take some caffeine I need to stay awake and yeah I was drinking it and then all of a sudden it was burnt and, and I just do the normal add some creamer and then this morning we had, the, or you had the water. Oh. And the and I know that sometimes tap, they just give you tap water, and sometimes not every city is good. Right. But it also affected the ice, because then this morning we're like, oh, we're at the hotel. Let's fill up our cups with ice and pour our bottled water. Pour in our there. bottled water in there. It ruined the bottled water. <laughs> so we were forced to go to Starbucks. Yeah. So we could actually enjoy a coffee without it being nasty. Although I suppose they use tap water too to make their coffee. I know, but at least it's, yeah. I don't know. The things we learn. Oh, it's a Greyhound. Oh. Now that would be a real adventure if we took a Greyhound trip somewhere. No. No? Have you Are you kidding me? Well, can you imagine Texas. the people? Like, well, I think we would. Has we would be those people. We on the would, bus. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> we totally would. We would be the ones that people don't. They're like, oh Lord, don't make me so Don't get on this bus. I've never done a. I mean, like a tour bus, but I was like a kid. Yeah. Or something, but not like a cross country. Right, me either. Done the train. We could do Amtrak too. That's actually kind of okay, fun. Okay, so. I was talking to my hairdresser about vacations and that she was, what I really want to do is take the train to Seattle. And Matt and I have looked into that too. It's like 90 bucks from Minnesota to Seattle. Yep. I mean, how cool would that be? That would be, because I used to take it back and forth to Grand Forks. Oh, you Pre did? Well, when my mom was going through treatment and stuff, I would do that because then I could sleep because the train... The thing though, it left like St. Paul at 10 30, 11 o'clock at night. Yeah. And I'd get to Grand Forks at like 5 in the morning. So, time wise, it took the same as if I was driving. Yeah. But I could actually sleep. And especially in the winter, I didn't have to worry about weather. Yeah. And then she'd pick me up. And it was, yeah, really inexpensive, but it was at night, so I never really got to see anything. But I always thought it would be fun. And Eddie and I have looked like when we go places, but it's real limited. I would rather do a train than a bus. Me too. Because I've done train and it's doable. But then, well, I suppose you have to upgrade because you just pay like for a seat. But right. they have like sleeper cars yes. and stuff too. Yes, yes. Yeah. But still, it was, you know, very so reasonable. Because I think we looked into this, yeah. That would be fun. Because yeah, anytime we've looked at, even like to come to Florida, or we thought about like going to Vegas or something, yeah. it'll only take you so far and then you have to like take uh, a bus. Sure. So you can't get everywhere. But no, it's cool. A friend of mine um, takes it. Well, her parents moved now. They used to live out in, was it Seattle? No, Portland, I think they lived. Oh, okay. And she would go with her two girls. She would take her two little girls on the train. Oh, fun. Because again, it's a long way for someone to drive. Especially a parent if they're... Did oh. we deal with him back in Atlanta? I already passed him once. Nobody follows the speed limit. No. But here they're not getting pulled over. Like, Illinois, Missouri, Tennessee. Did, wasn't Iowa pulled over a lot? Is that what we saw, like, three, four cop cars at night? I think it was because it was a night. And it's like every, there was like, I don't know how many patrolmen they yes, had. Yes, remember because I said between Iowa City and Cedar Falls? Cedar Rapids. Remember? I'm like, I bet that's the college running there drunk. And, yeah. Maybe. That was a little crazy. I create my own little stories in my head. So do I. With those. Earlier, I was imagining that someone like drove by and shot me. <laughs> and then she says, Kim, what would you have done? Well, Kat, because you said, <laughs> when it's my time, it's my time. You just need to have fun and go on this adventure. I would grab my phone and do live. That's what I said. I go, I was thinking, okay, first you'd have to like grab the wheel and like, you know, get us off the road, which would not be easy. No. And I'd be like, my last breath, I'd be telling her, go on Facebook Live. But the thing is, if she did that to me, I would come back and haunt her ass everywhere. I'd be dead. Oh, what? Oh, if I Facebook Live you after the if, random if I was, guy shot yes, you? Yes, exactly. 
See, I get that from my mother. <laughs> What's that? Because she, did I tell you the story? When I rolled my car, yeah. what year was that? I don't know, my beautiful Beretta rolled it. Yeah. Got it, you know, a little freaked out on the way home. Got a ride back into town, went to my friend's house and like called my parents, you know, I'm like shaking. Yeah. And um, asked them, you know, tell them where to find me and da da da. They come and she stopped to take pictures of the car before they came to get me. Are you serious? <laughs> oh my gosh. And this is before cell phones and all that. So she had to, you know, it's like, I don't know, 10, 11 at night. I'm sure she was already in her pajamas. Yeah. I canceled a call from Kathy. Oh my God, I rolled my car. I slid on the ice. <laughs> I need you to come get me. So dad, I'm sure, he immediately yeah. just grabs her. But then he let her stop. She's like, oh. <laughs> it was easy to see because you left the light, the headlights on. So it was up, the car was upside down on the hood. Yeah. So I barely got out of the snow. And no, what I was so freaked out about is I'm calm. See, this is where I'm calm in a, in a bad situation. I could tell I was losing control. Oh. And I'm like, I was by myself, and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go in the ditch. I'm okay. And then I swerved and I hit, because it was on a curb, it was black ice. Yep. I hit the, whatever, the markers, just like the pole markers. Yep. So I hit, I had swung around and hit the pole marker with the driver's door and it went whoosh, straight out of the ground. No. So in my mind, I'm now like, okay, you're going to crash. Oh my <laughs> you know, gosh. I switched from you're going to go, the, but then as, you know, this is happening in like seconds. Right. I'm like, you're going to crash, but then I could see headlights coming, so I'm like, You'll be okay because someone's going to be here. Whatever happens, right, someone's right. right there. They didn't stop. No. So I rolled one and a half times. <gasps> um, what the hell? Sandstorm? Sandstorm! We came to the beach. There's oh, it's beach. this bozo that's... Look at it. It's coming off his, his oh, trailer. It's probably hauling something. So There's I, Taylor Swift's tour bus. Oh, no. It's just, it's just a... I just... 